tomorrow's Thanksgiving, a day for gratitude. Actually, every day should be a day for gratitude. One day a year is not nearly enough. Think of all the people who've done things that have helped us. We're sitting here meditating in a hall that other people built. At. Sometimes and most of the building of this hall was done by volunteers. The materials were given, freely given. You look around the monastery, everything here is a gift. So it's always good to have thoughts of gratitude for all the good things that have been done for you, and then realize what's the best way to repay that debt of gratitude is by practicing. So look at the practice as an opportunity to pay off some old debts. And underline the word opportunity. It's not a chore, even though the Buddha said it is a duty to develop the factors of the path. It's not a duty that's imposed on us. We work the ones who freely take it on ourselves. And it's a good duty. You think about the other duties that are imposed on us by the world outside. Very few of them have actually have anything to do with our genuine happiness. But these are duties that we freely take on because they do lead to true happiness. That's their whole purpose. I mean, they build a whole psychology out of the division between your superego and your ego. In other words, the superego tells you what you should do. And then you've got your id telling you what you want to do, and the poor ego is caught in the between. But in the Buddhist psychology, the, the shoulds there are all for the purpose of your true happiness. So that there's not necessarily a, a struggle there. There may be a struggle between ignorant ideas about what happiness can be and knowledgeable ideas or skillful ideas about what happiness can be. But the underlying dynamic is all the same, for the sake of happiness. So these are shoulds we take on. There shouldn't be that much of, a, much of a struggle inside. The struggle, as I said, is between ignorance and knowledge. And the more knowledge we bring to what's going on in the mind, the better off we're going to be, the easier the struggles are going to be. So try to be fully aware of what you're doing. When the Buddha talks about being alert in the present moment, it's not just a general alertness to, say, the sound of the plane out there or whatever. It's being alert to what your mind is doing right now, because that's the important thing that's happening right now in your life. So be alert to that and then figure out how you can do things in the present moment that are more and more skillful. That's how you benefit and that's how you repay your old debts. After all, the whole purpose of having a monastery here is as a place for people to train their minds. And so when you fulfill that purpose, it's what keeps the monastery going. So it's, meditation is a gift to yourself and a gift to others. and try to find some joy in giving.